Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. For this week's episode of Art History Minute, I am traveling back in time to ancient Egypt. This particular artifact is called the Merneptah Stele, and it was a remarkable find that helped to confirm biblical history. To find out more, then keep on watching. In many ancient civilizations, stele were important objects. They served as proclamation boards that rulers could post around their empires, telling the people about their accomplishments. Many fragments and even whole stele have been found by archaeologists, and they have been proven invaluable to learning about ancient societies and rulers. One of the most famous is the Victory Stele of Merneptah. It was discovered in Thebes in 1896 and is now housed in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. The stele is made of black granite and stands at about 10 feet tall. It is inscribed with text discussing Pharaoh Amenemhat, who ruled over Egypt in the 13th century BCE. On top of the stele, there is a scene that helps to illustrate what the description says below. The majority of it describes Merneptah's victory over the Libyans and their army. However, it is the last three lines that hold the most interest. These ones talk about Merneptah's campaign in Canaan. There is a group of hieroglyphs that the majority of scholars translate as Israel. Not only is it one of four known inscriptions that mention Israel during this period in time, but it's also the earliest of that group. It reads, The princes are prostrate, saying peace. Not one is raising his head among the nine bows. Now that Tahuna, Libya, has come to ruin, Hati is pacified. The Canaan has been plundered into every sort of woe. Ascalon has been overcome. Gezer has been captured. Ganahoman is non-existent. Israel is laid to waste, and his seed is not. Haru is become a widow because of Egypt. The Merneptah Stele not only represents a pharaoh's victory, but it helps to confirm the existence of Israel. This was an extremely important find that changed both archaeology and history.